So you're gonna go to the docks, grab a package, bring it back here, take it out the back of your van and take it to that door. That's the delivery process. What we're about to do is gonna be very risky. I just need to grab my car from my garage here. We've gotta be as low key as possible. We got 100 grams of OG Kush here, which we need to transport right now. And then after we do that, we're gonna figure out what we're doing. We need to hit up a 24 seven now. We're gonna to go to this one down here. It's only around the corner from Grove though. So hopefully, hopefully there's no like gang stuff going on around there, you know? So only 0.35 miles away. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna grab the 35 bags and we're getting straight out now what makes this bad is i've got like no backup right now because basically we're gonna have to go up and bag all of this weed and whilst we're bagging it there's a possibility we could be robbed let's get out and lock this bad boy there we go wait vehicle unlocked what do you mean vehicle unlocked? Run over to the 24 seven. Okay, I've already calculated it. I'm gonna be needing 35 bags. Cause when you're bagging it up, three grams of OG Kush can go into one bag. Now I don't wanna be spending more time than I need to here. So let's get going. Unlock the whippage. We got to drive down to, it's actually pretty far away, down to here. Now, this is the part which I'm scared about, okay? We've survived buying the bags. We've still got the 100 grams on us. But here's where it gets a little bit more difficult because if I get jumped, that's all my weed gone. To be honest, I'm kind of using this car as like a bank more than anything, just to store my stuff in because you've obviously got the glove box that you can put stuff in. And then when you lock it away, it's essentially a bank. Okay, we need to take the left turn in here. Oh, that's a player. He's not going in there, is he? Oh no, he is. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. This is not good. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go about this. Oh yeah, there's definitely people down there. You know what, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna take all the weed with me. We've got a total of 109 grams on me now. Okay, it's all on me. Let's lock my whip up here. Cool, vehicle locked. We need to go into that shack down there because that's where we bagged the weed. So I might take the longer route, but the safer route. Oh no, do not kill me. I said the safer route, but now I'm rolling down a map. Right, I need everyone to imagine that you didn't see that, okay? I think double jump makes your character like going to a ragdoll. You see what I'm saying? That can be pretty dangerous. I don't know if we could change that or not. Anyway, I'm at a location right now. I just realized that I've been driving around illegally this whole time. So I came down here to drive in school and yeah, I need to get my license because I don't fancy being, you know, pulled over and going to jail. Did you kill that man? Uh, no, I came here and he was dead. Are you, know you why? sure? Are you sure you've got an eye patch on, man? Yeah, because I born this way. Yeah, only one eye. Oh, you only have one eye. My bad, man. Are you new in the city? Yeah, I'm pretty new. So come here. I don't want to. I'm doing something. No, leave me alone. I'm not, I'm not asking. I'm telling you, come here. Oh, come on, man. Right, what so do you want from up, me? Hands up, hands up. Oh go out. my God. Go outside, go out. Come here. Come on. I'm going to drive you back here. We are going to have some... <clears throat> Come on. Please, sir. Come on, I... get up. Listen, sir. I'm getting in. Okay, okay. Oh, too good. Ah, I'm running. I don't want to get in his car. He has a knife. We need to run. Oh, no. I'm going to hit him with the U-turn. Oh, no. He's following me. What you want, man? I'm just trying to do my theory test. We need to run down here. I'm losing this, man. I do not care. Up the ladder. Quick, quick, quick. I don't want him to see me. <gasps> I think we may have lost him. I'm just gonna hide here. Man, I'm just trying to do my theory test. And this guy comes out of nowhere with a knife. I'm kind of happy I ran there because I don't know what he was planning to do with me. He tried making me get in his car. Oh yeah, by the way, I bought a replacement phone. I had to go down to the electronics store here. And then, yeah, it was only $300, so not too bad. I believe in my bank right now, I've got maybe 9K. So we're not doing bad. We've got the money in the bank, and then we got that car that cost me 10K. I've been here for a few minutes now. I don't know if it's safe to go back down there. Oh, would you look at that? I've got a perfect view from up here. Um, It looks pretty empty, but I feel like he might be waiting around there for me. I think we may be in the clear to go down now. But yeah, we're here at driving school because I need to get myself a license for a car. If you have a look, here we've got a driving test a which is for motorbike
bikes. Then you've got a drive and test B, which is for cars. We're going to be doing that one. And then you have the type C, which is for big vehicles, I believe. But yeah, let's get this theory test done. You paid $200 for a theory test. Welcome to driving school. All citizens must pass a driver's and a theory test before they can drive. The theory test costs $200 and is not refunded if you fail. The driving test costs $500 and then the driving license document costs $50. Right, I'm ready. Let's go. The light changes from green to yellow as you approach an intersection. You should slow down. That's an easy one. Wait, what? I just got disconnected for being AFK. Does that mean that I lost my $200? Okay, here we go. I just had to pay another $200. Highway markings provide information for drivers. If an officer is directing traffic at a working traffic light, drivers should follow the directions given by the officer. When you hear or see an emergency vehicle, you should slow down and let it pass by. A pedestrian has a do not cross signal. What do you do? You observe before continuing. The light changes from green to yellow as you approach. That's that question we had. How many feet must you signal before making a turn? I would say like a hundred. What are the following signs of road rage? Uh, forcing a car off the road, blowing the horn excessively, or tailgating? I'd say all of the above. Before every lane, you must check your mirrors. A person who drives much slower than the speed limit is a very safe driver. You failed? Oh no, I've got a failed driving test in my inventory now. Right, I'm gonna try that again. Okay, yes, we got it. So I've got a failed driving test, another failed driving test, and then we got the one that we passed. So now we have that, we actually have to do the real driving test. So we're gonna be going for driving test type B which is a car's driving test. Oh, damn, that cost me 500. Ooh, what is this car, though? It's an old school car, but I kind of like it. So I believe the way we do this is we've just got to follow the instructions. There's not, like, any questions we need to answer. This is the real driving test. I think as I go here, it starts. Drive to the next point. The speed limit is 60. Oh, no, it's red. Okay, I didn't do anything. Don't fail me yet. This cost me $500, so I need to pass. Look at this. I didn't even realize, but we got all of these options for the car. We could open the doors. We could turn on lights. A bunch of different stuff here. We're waiting for the light to go green. Here we go. And then the next point is just up here. We can't go over 60 miles an hour. My gauge is in the bottom left down there. Here's the next point. Drive to the next point, which is straight down. We haven't had anything too tricky yet, but... um drive to the next point. I definitely need to pass on the first attempt though because I'm not burning through another $500. We've got a red light. What's the next point gonna say? Drive to the next point. I see what this is doing. It's trying to catch me at the red lights all the time. Don't worry, I know how to drive. You're not gonna fool me. This is all important because I can't be driving around without a license. Let's say if I'm just driving or I'm doing a job for someone and I get pulled over. That's it, if we don't have a driver's license, we're gonna get in trouble. All right, the next point is here. Stop at a stop sign and then turn right. Okay, we have stopped at the stop sign. And now I'm gonna turn right. Oh yeah, I've gotta keep an eye on my speed. We cannot go above 60. It's time to drive on the highway. Speed limit is 80 miles per hour. Okay, so here it changes. We could go a bit faster. Oh my God. That guy just nearly smashed into me. Here we go, drive to the next point. Speed limit is, it doesn't say. I'm assuming it would be the same. Wait, are we turning around here? Stop for passing vehicles and then turn around. We are... Oh, there's that guy. Good job. Drive to the next point. Okay, this is pretty easy. I feel like we're going to pass. Let's just not go over 85, I think it said. Oh my god. You damaged the vehicle. Fail errors. I just got three out of five. Someone smashed into me. Oh no. I do not want to fail. Please. Let me get my checkpoint. That guy legit just slammed into me. Entered town, pay attention to your speed. Well, hopefully I don't get rammed into again. Oh no, there's someone else here. Stop at a stop sign, then drive forward. Bro, you just made me fail, really? Why'd you do that? Oh, wait, I thought you were local. Sorry, I was trying to steal a car. Bro, you just made me fail my test now. I'm sorry. Now nah, pull up. I need that I need that reimbursement, man. I just wasted 500 there. I'm driving this man to the ATM and he's giving me 500. I do not care. All right, man, there's an ATM in here. Let's get me my $500. I'm not playing about, guys. I'm not wasting money. This man just made me fail. So I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone, bro? You can transfer yeah, it in Yeah, I literally just said I had nothing because I died and I had uh, people took my money, to, uh, all my stuff, because, um... Maybe. 
Yeah, no, I dude, didn't have you, money you could transfer it in the bank. Don't play like that, bro. Just give me my 500. Actually, I need to give you my banking information. Hold up. Look, here you go. I gave you my bank number. Just put Your that lady. number in there and send me the money. I'm waiting for my money to come through. Oh. I'm not letting this man leave. There we go. Bank transfer received. $500. So I'm going to pull out the 500 that we just got. Here goes. At least we kind of know what to expect this time. Oh my God. The street light is falling down in front of me. Everything is out to get me on this driving test. I'm telling you. We're nearly back to where we was now. And I've got zero faults this time. We're about to get this driver's license and then we're Gucci. <gasps> oh no. I was speeding. My bad. I got one fail error there. It's time to drive on the highway. Okay, the speed limit goes up here, but we need to be even more careful because that means people are speeding like him. But yeah, once we get our license here, it's going to just make it a little bit more legit, you know? Come on, I'm round the corner from the DMV now. I've only got to make it down here and we should be good. Stop for the traffic light, then turn right. I was about to say then turn green. I think we're waiting for that traffic light there to turn green. Come on, one more checkpoint. This has got to be it, right? Driving test completed. Yay! Let's go, baby. So we should have that in our thingy now. Okay, so I think the driver's test, what we have to do is I've got to go into the room back here. Let me show you. Buy driver's license document for $50. Boom. And now we have a driver's license. So now what I could do is get rid of the failed ones. And I think I'm going to go and put my driving test in my car. Man, this is the type of place that someone pops out with a gun and robs you. My parked vehicles. And then what was my vehicle name again? The Regina. Hello, Regina. I am back. Then we'll put the driving test over here in the glove box. That is nice and safe now. Pull the vehicle back up here. And then we're going to park it back in the garage. What we got going on down here? That is a real nice Lambo. I'm telling you, you see a lot of really nice cars in this city. Oh, this is the big boy car dealership. Should we just go in there and do a little bit of window shopping? Have a look at what we wish we could afford right now. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go in there. Oh, man. What is this? Ferrari? We got a Sanchez over here. We got an Audi. We've even got an upstairs as well. I think this is like a lounge area. To play pool, take pool cue at the pool cue stand. No way. So if you want to play pool, you can go and grab a pool cue from over there. This place is big, though. And then, oh, there's even an elevator for the cars. I don't work here, but boss man, just to let you know, don't you can't go upstairs unless you're a VIP. Oh, OK, OK. My bad. My first, yeah, just, my just first so you know. time in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people do it. Don't worry about it. You have a car. Do I have a car? I do. I have one pretty bad one. Yeah. What car is that? It's uh the Regina. Where'd you get it from? Just the regular car shop, not this one right here. Okay. Um. In downtown. Can you go get it and bring it so I can see it? Uh, I'm kind of using it as a bank, so I, I won't be able to do that. Oh, okay, okay. How fast does it go? Not fast at all, man. It's like an old man car, but it's all I can afford right now. I would say if you didn't have a car or anything, you could get one from here that's for like 8K or 10K. Oh, yeah? Well, be... I'll, I'll be making money and I'll be back for sure. All right. For sure, for sure. I need a I need a real car, you know? Yeah. I can actually drive. I've got a comment here saying that you should focus on getting Kush, selling it, then getting a house and a better car. I love those ideas. My plan is just to do anything right now to get money. Remember, we're new in this city, so it's all about like making a name for yourself and getting connections and stuff. So we for sure have a lot of plans. By the way, I've got a Discord that I definitely think you should join. It's pretty much a place where the community can hang out, chill, talk to each other. And yeah, if you want to be one of the first people to my videos as soon as they get uploaded it's a win-win come hang out come chill and you get notifications for the videos but yeah we need to look for work now i've seen a guy who put a tweet out let me see if i can find him the store at postal 804 is hiring delivery drivers 1.5k per delivery or 20k plus per 10 deliveries and you get a salary now i don't know what that is but i kind of want to go down there and just check it out like i said we're taking it slow we're just trying to meet people that's all we need to do right now the more connections we make the better it's going to be for us long term i think i'm going to grab this audi here let me hotwire it real quick bib bib oh perfect let me pull up here uh what was the postal again i think it was 805 or 804 cool put my phone away then we're going to mark that postal out which is 2.3 miles away man my game looks so goddamn nice right now with the LA roads and stuff. Let's see how fast we can go. Uh-oh, I hear cops in the area. 
Wait, is one chasing me? I've not actually bumped into any cops yet. Like, I've not even seen one. That's how fresh we are. Who is that guy? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I kind of want to... I was going to stop to see if he was okay, but he just drove away. Oh my god, there's a bunch of crashes going on here. I think these are the delivery men for the same job that I'm going to. I wonder what they're delivering. Well, I wonder what I'm going to be delivering. It's less than a mile away now, so we're going to be there soon. Oh no, there's a fight happening in the road. Man, these delivery drivers are crazy. Look at him trying to overtake me. Okay, we are here. This is 804. I don't know if the person who's running the job is maybe in that purple beamers over there, or I have a feeling it might be here. Look at the McLaren though. Oh my God, these people have money. Look how many people are here. You got all the delivery vans flying out. Right, if the cops roll past her, it's gonna be obvious what's going down. Are you the boss around her? I'm the boss. The f you just say? I'm kidding. This man ain't no f boss. Are you boss the boss? The boss is inside with- Nah, he's inside with the dreads in the back okay. room. Look at this guy. He's got the J's on. Hey man, um, I'm here for a job. All right, all right, come on. So how does it work then? So I pay you 1.5K per delivery or if you do 10 deliveries in a row, I would give you 20,000. So uh, when I come back, you're going to know how much I've done, yeah? Yeah, so you got to collect your paycheck every couple of deliveries from the computer right here, and it tracks all your deliveries. Cool. So the van's around the back then? You can clock can, in can right here see, at this can you see here. my Can you see my total deliveries? And by the way, should we be careful delivering? Like Be extremely careful. Extremely careful. You okay. can't pick up the product, but you can uh, get arrested. It's just 52. 52, that's what I did yesterday. Done 52 yeah. deliveries, man? Seven minutes around, took 15 and a half hours. 15 hours, man. Right, wait, yeah. so how long is it going to take me to do 10 deliveries then? It depends on how fast you are. All right, I'm going to go grab the van from the back then. Did you clock in at the coat hanger? Oh, let me do that. Right here. Where is it? Okay, I need to clock in. Right, I'm on duty now. All right, yeah, I'll back. Man, this is cool. You've got to, like, clock in. Right. Come with me, buddy. Uh, is this your car right here, the black one? Or no? You want to move that across the street for me? Park this up here. <laughs> there goes the door. Why is it making me shuffle over? Playing the bongos, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. Let's so get out of this guy's my... way. Come here, come here, come here. Where this guy has his parked, so. Sorry. Oh! Jesus, man. Are you okay? Uh, kind of. Are you bleeding? My shoulder, my shoulder bone hurts a little bit, but... Oh, uh, right here? You have any money? You have $100 on you? Um, I got 37 <laughs> $37? Yeah. Here, let me give you some money real quick. So basically, you, uh... You put down a hundred bucks to loan the vehicle. If you break the van, you can bring it back here, put it in, and get a new one, and you get your money back. So you're gonna go to the docks, grab a package, bring it back here, take it out the back of your van, and take it to that door. That's the delivery process. How can I get my van? Flex your e muscle right here. On the ground behind oh, you. Yeah, got you, got you. Here we go. Follow the GPS Jeez, and drive safe, because cops are fucking nuts in this city, buddy. All right, thank you for the info, man. I'll be back. All right, cheers. I got lucky. The route that I took, dude. Jeez. I, I, I Jeez, never seen a single cop the entire time. Okay, I've got to follow the GPS we have. We got to go pick up a package, and we got to be very careful throughout this entire process. But man, I cannot believe how good this server is. Like, I no joke. I'm planning to make like hundreds of videos on here. I'm still gonna do like the regular public servers and stuff and mess about with those GTA RP videos. But I'm just really enjoying myself on these ones. So yeah, we got a lot to do. Look at this view. You right now, man. Oh my god. My game is looking beautiful. We put down a $100 deposit. So as long as we don't just completely bust up the van, we should be fine. You know what? Thinking about it now, that guy we saw on the way that just completely flipped his van, I guarantee he he ran through the deposit for sure. I love how I'm seeing delivery vans everywhere. The boss back there must be like a pretty high profile guy. He's got a ton of people doing delivery jobs for him. And look, I plan to work myself up to that level as well. Look at that delivery driver flying. He ain't messing about. He's trying to make money. I'm just going pretty slow on the first one here because I kind of want to figure out the route. But once we know the route off by heart, we're just is gonna be speeding. 10 deliveries for 20k does not sound that bad because the weed that I did manage to sell only got me like a little bit. Let's go, baby. I'm just a regular delivery driver in a sprunk van. These guys blocking up the road. Okay, wow. So we're actually pulling up to a depot right now. Oh, I thought that guy was gonna hit me. Oh my God, how many vans are here? He doesn't even stop to say sorry. 
just slams into the front of me. Yeah, wait, what? We're at the post OP depot? Look how many people are back here. Oh no. Uh, what do we need to do? You've received your salary of $15. Oh, that's cool. So whilst we're doing this, we get paid as well. Right, here we go. Pick up products. Get in trunks stocked up with products. And we are done. Is it gonna shut my doors? It is. Your trunk is full. You're ready to go. Perfect. So we got the illegal items on us now. I don't know what type of stuff I'm delivering. I'm just here to do the delivery job, okay? I know I'm breaking the law big time right now, but the 10 deliveries for 20k seems pretty, pretty good to me. So yeah, now we know the route. I'm just going to speed back as quick as possible. I love how there's delivery vans everywhere. Look. <laughs> Ooh, that guy's speeding. So hold up, if they're paying me like 2K per run, they must be making at least like five, right? Maybe even more. More delivery vans. Oh no, flipped over delivery van. That's not a good sign. I'm on the wrong side of the road. This guy's got guards outside the store now. Cool, let's hop out the van and then we need to grab the products from the back here. And then he said we need to bring it back here, right? Deliver products. That is one. You have delivered all products. You may restock or go collect your bonus. I am going to go and restock. I'm just trying to keep the money flying in. You know, you got to keep it coming in because there's always stuff that you're going to need. We're going to be needing money for weapons, upgrades, vehicles, properties. I think the way we'll do the properties is when I have enough money for one, we're just going to start off by getting like a starter property, like probably a small apartment or something like that. Oh, I missed my turn. Here we are, package number two. Let me pick these up. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> got another delivery man pulling up here. Your trunk is full. You're ready to go. Let me grab my stuff out the back here. There we go. And that is delivery number two complete. I'll be back on delivery number 10. Okay, guys, I made it to eight packages. Give me a second. I'm back here with the boss right now. I was going to do 10, but my van just broke down. And I've spent like an hour doing this. So I need my money. There you go, buddy. Thank you, dude. No problem. Now let's put our card into the ATM. We have got 8.5K in here. Now let's throw in the 16K that we just got. Submit. Oh, that's what I like to see. We've basically got 25K in our bank. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think we should do next. And I'll catch you in the next video.